And this will hopefully be the last one I have to do on this idiot until his arrest. But I'm really starting to wonder if this guy is really just a fraud or if he is in very, very badly need of a 5150 exam when he gets arrested. Because I'm starting to believe that he actually believes this shit. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Parked outside. We were at the courthouse doing the video, and we saw the Tahoe parked out there with expired plates. I didn't know whose it was. Well, I guess it's new, you know. But we saw it expired by like three months. And so our thing was, like we always do, if we see something that's like top parking in the no parking zone. Oh yeah, you're fine, buddy. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. Um. So it was the same as usual for us. We saw. A, vehicle with expired plates we we're going to report it you know and okay if that were at all sincere <clears throat> or truthful you would have called the police you wouldn't have wasted time with the cameras you wouldn't have run over to somebody you're not allowed by court procedure to approach you wouldn't have stalked and harassed him you wouldn't have followed him to another location if it had been about doing the right thing which is why you're probably going to go to jail over this not only that what's left of your civil case, that judge can hit your dumbass with sanctions too. Because you have now harassed the defendant in a civil suit to which you're the plaintiff. You're an idiot. And I talked to whatever officer was driving and asked me, you know, hey man, if you mentioned that to your chief or whatever, well, it turned out it was Donovan. So, I mean, we were too far in to, to walk away. We didn't know it was gonna be him come out. We were at the vehicle, you know, and, um, Man, he was, he responded way unprofessional. Like, well, in his defense, you did, he tried to illegally detain him. I mean, you have absolutely no authority in the state of Indiana or any of the other 49 states in this country to enforce any traffic laws whatsoever. You definitely don't have the right to detain anyone, especially over something that he's not even responsible for. And you really need to go look up Indiana laws regarding emergency vehicles and registration. You really should, Chrissy. You know that thing called the inner way up? You're a moron. Way unprofessional. And I'm not the most reasonable man in those moments either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've been there. <laughs> but I didn't go. It was way less than what I put on you that day. You know what I mean? I literally just said, I was, I'd was already called Scott McCoy's. I was on the phone with McCoy, so I reported it to McCoy. Hey, man, there's a, a black Tahoe here, fleet vehicle with expired plates, man. We're going to have to figure that out, too, you know. It just kind of sort of things in like that. Uh, but at the same time, I do expect it to be able to take care of it. I don't think people should be able to deal with it. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not going to I know that. I just learned that. So there's somebody responsible for that, so let's figure it out, right? Instead of just driving it around possibly unregistered, you know, what if we've gotten a wreck in that thing or something, right? This is amazing. Even in front of the police chief, this idiot is still trying to give off the impression that he has the ability to enforce traffic law. Wow, where does he get that? Because he's got a dumbass YouTube channel? Seriously? So anyway, Donovan comes out and he immediately jumps in the car, completely ignores us. And I said, wait, your tags are expired. I've already recorded it. Like, just wait. You know, so we actually were told by McBoy that a couple of cops were coming to check the vehicle out, which I didn't think anybody get in trouble anyway, man, because it's cops, right? I mean, what are they going to do? They would probably just contact whoever was responsible for the vehicle, not let it leave until they got proper registration stuff on it, you know? Well, anyway, his response was to almost run her over. And, and look, I don't want to like, I don't want to mislead you on the details in your mind. I don't want you to, under, you know, under <coughs> shit it wrong so i'll tell you exactly how it was he did not it was not like flooring it was not going out it was nothing to that extent right it was simply that she was standing at the window with her camera and and trying to get his attention because he was ignoring her and she was trying to say and she was saying out loud your tags are expired and i'm coming up and i took a picture of the plate i come around and i start coming up but when i came up 
he starts going backwards and his mirror had extended out when he started the truck. It's funny how you leave out the part when you're telling the chief that you tried to illegally detain him and possibly kidnap him, aside from stalking and harassing him. So she was in the line of fire because he cut the wheel all the way, and then he starts backing into it with the mirror. He was hitting her with the mirror. So she had to like push herself away from the mirror, which is out of line, man. You know, just let us get out of the way. You know, and honestly, don't leave. I wasn't telling him to get out. I wasn't telling him to do anything other than wait. That was it. So, so he goes to JPD. And now, kids, spoiler alert, he's going to admit on camera to the police chief that he was stalking and harassing one of his officers. We're, we're, we're really going to die. We were going to JPD because we had already reported it, and then he fled, right? So he took off. I said, look, let's, let's let the police handle it, you know, from here. So we go straight to JPD to talk to McMoy since I was on the phone with him and he sent units. And there was Donovan in there. Ask a question. Sure. If he wants to pull into the courthouse and see an expired tag, was not a police car, would have done the same thing? Well, no, because my channel doesn't do okay. that. I thought, Chief, that you knew that his channel only wants to jam up good cops for clickbait and money so he can go on air and lie. And that's what we want, is we want influence. everybody to follow the law. Police are an influence, and it, it's not just police, but all government employees with, that we elect. We I... Government employees are not elected, you effing moron. They're appointed. Why the tags are expired, we're handling it, or, and I wouldn't have known it was Donovan either, right? Could have been any cop. Come out. I just knew it was a cop um, Or even if they were to just completely blow us off and then just go to the B and B, like don't go and lie, well, you know. Oh, you're serious. But yet, with every temporary restra emergency restraining order you put in for, with every complaint you file, with every lawsuit you freaking file, with every video you make, you're literally lying off your asses. But. You're special somehow. He he to do with the flashlight and it didn't even report the incident. Okay, um, that's just one. And I'm not doing those videos on it. What I'm doing right now is just either either some stuff about our rape, you know. And then currently he just popped himself on the radar when he did the tag, you know. And I know he was at the courthouse. He was probably having a bad day because his son is being charged with two F5s and an F6 for a domestic battery and having a weapon and all that on his girlfriend. So, like, I didn't know it was Donovan, though, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't know he was there. I didn't even know that he had court that day. No, I did no not. I, I had so, no clue because I, I don't follow him. But I later learned that that was the court day time. So I'm thinking maybe he was having, like, a super bad day because he was in court with his son and all that. But it's still idiotic and like that. Matter of fact, we believe that the best place for him, per all the criminal activity that we absolutely have proof of, is jail that's where he right. needs to go absolutely like, to, for public safety um but if you can't have that then the next best thing is is for any agencies that he's involved with to hold him extremely accountable like, like put a leash on him man. yesterday because when he did the epo he attached you're supposed to attach all the cases involving the parties that are currently happening well he failed he to put not. a federal case on there where we've named him as a person that broke her spine and beat me in handcuffs right he should have he, He's supposed to put that. He omitted that evidentiary in the EPO form. Then he says, detach the one that he made at JPD that day, and he made false allegations. He said she punched his window. He said that I uh, told him to get out of the car and threaten him. That's a lie. We have the video. It's obvious, right? You'll see when you see the video. Uh, it's unedited, the one I'm saying. Um, and then, I mean, complete lie, bro. All we did was said, hey, your tiger fired. Stop. It. I'm getting tired of asking this question, but since you won't either answer it or you won't uh, stop your behavior, I'm going to ask it again. Who authorized you to give that officer a order to stop over a traffic infraction? Who deputized you in the state of Indiana to enforce traffic law? Their elevator boy. In statute. I can see, I'll send it to you in email. I'll send you the statute to the plot that I believe the plot. Um, we'll go from there. And then the other big deal is this. It, 
it's a, it, this is literally a constitutional violation I'm about to tell you, okay? And it can fall on your department, and I'm not going to do that to you if I don't. You know what I'm saying? If I don't have to, I'm not going to put a lawsuit out on your, um, your agency unless it's necessary. So I can't promise I won't, but I can tell you I don't want to, right? But he put that me and her are not allowed to come to your agency. He's trying to utilize uh, a civil court procedure, which would fall criminal eventually after it's been concluded. He's trying to put the address of Utica Police Department as his home so that we can't come to your well, department. Well, he can put down a uh, place of business because you or I say you want to fall just maybe to get up here. So he can do this. Son. Without violating constitutional, he can do it on his, where he works over at Ford and Louisville because that's in the private capacity. Right, he, he can't there, do it on a public but he agency. he cannot do it in a public building. Uh, if I think okay. it correctly, it can be taken care of to the fact that he's on duty. Well, I'll it's tell you this, it's been very... All right, I'm going to give News Now Dumbwaiter and his lot lizard life mate here some perspective on why he can and has put that address for that the police department as an address that tons of fun here can't go. Imagine that he wasn't a cop. Say that, and he wasn't a man. Say that Chris was a abusive husband, which I'm still not convinced he's not. And say that Donovan was a she, and she was a receptionist at this police department. It wouldn't be any difference. If she had filed the EPO on you, you wouldn't be able to go there either. Swinging a miss, numb nuts. And it, and it would be best to like his contact me, and I can I don't make mind sure, doing that. and I can make sure because I I don't like the conflict, and I want it a little too much. So. Yeah, we don't like it either, and we have no problem contacting you beforehand. But we just want everyone to acknowledge that he can't put a public place. Yeah, on I there. don't need permission. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's not a public place. It's not a park. It's it's not a museum. It's his place of employment, and you are under a protection order. Well, he's under a protection order. It's being enforced on you. You have to abide by it. You don't have a choice. As I said, it's not a Chinese menu. You don't get to pick column A and column B, and you don't get to pick tons of fun what you're going to follow and what you're not. The judge is taking care of that for you. And by the way, violating a protection order can be very turned criminal very, very quickly. So I'd be very careful. Think about it like this. If I was in Utica and I had a life or death emergency and I come to your PD there in Utica and he has a restraining order on me from there, I can go to jail because I'm literally in a crisis moment and I need law enforcement. Sorry for cutting in again, but she's killing me here. If you have a life or death emergency and you drive to the police department, um, you're dumber than he is, and I didn't know how that's even humanly possible. You, you ever heard of calling 911? You know, the, you, your phone, you know, this thing, the thing that y'all are doing this with all in the chief's face, you know, that thing, that's what you need to do. You know, constitutionally protected civil rights, and one of which is public areas we have access to, and all places like police departments are public. That is a public building. It's there for us. We pay for it in our taxes. It's the protection system is for us, so they can't stop us from coming to it, especially with the civil order. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of case law that already establishes all that. It's all over the place. But we won't get off on that. I mean, there's, you know what I mean? Just because we are publishing what he's done doesn't mean we want to be in his face. You know what I'm saying? We want to be far from him. You want to be far from him, you say. But yet every time we turn around, you are chasing him down, you're stalking and harassing him. But yet you want to be far from him. That's called a contradiction in statements, moron. Um, I mean, so we're trying to do that as best we can. Otherwise, I would have stood on my rights and said, no, Willie, I'm coming to the police department. You know what I'm saying? My thought was, holy shit, that's in Utica. There's only one or two ways in and out. If Donovan throws a fit on us or if he lies to police and tells us to come get us and the cops don't understand rights, we could get in, in jail and or see, I wouldn't or, have, and cause I wasn't for sure. I wouldn't have let you all come to the police station just for that fact to protect you and to protect you. I mean, there. I could be multiple people that would also verify in their positions as victims. It's all over the place, even in Utica. 
You have people that are in Utica who are scared to report what happened to them with Donovan. It sounds to me like Elevator Boy here has been taking notes from Chili Ironton, Ohio videos. Good job. Chili can sue you next, Chrissy. Like, I don't understand how, how is Indiana not on record for something that has a court record, too? So my thing is, I would like for you all in your capacity, because you probably have a better reach than we do just being able to go on my case and see what the truth is behind that. Because I, I literally in my position have a document that is from the court saying that he was charged with what I just told you. Well, there's a difference between no way, being charged not and charged, convicted. Convicted of what I told you. Convicted. Okay, so in your delusions of grandeur, you think that you have access to background information that the FBI didn't find when they ran his background for convictions and charges and arrests before they gave him a badge and a gun. Do you know what slander is, stupid? In other words, this court order was based on the conviction. It says, the judges said, we see the conviction based on that conviction this is the outcome of this other case. I have it. I'll send it. I'll see if I can send it to you. It, it doesn't belong to me. And it is a, um, the case is, is not mine to give because it's not public record. Right, okay? it's no longer public. But so I'll you see need if I'm allowed permission. to let you see. Well, I'll probably have to redact some of it, but, but the big thing is, is please, respect this person's anonymity and make sure that Donovan does not know until, unless you know that you can protect this, this dude. Absolutely, because, because... That's their fear, man. They're scared of him. They're female or male. Uh, well, yeah, I'd want you to protect Chris if somehow I, you know, gotten some major muscles and was beating <laughs> him up and stuff, but... Yeah. Well, Tiff Tiff, what about when you were the subject of yet another protection order and your male counterpart had to remove every knife in y'all's house and all of his firearms because you were on drugs and throwing a shit fit. Just curious. You know, for sure. Either it can go either way. Yeah. And both parties are innocent until they're proven to be guilty. But like I said, man, I don't play that he said, she said game. You know what I mean? Everything I do is based on what I can show as fact. I'm pretty good about it, you know? I mean, I might get involved in some irresponsible hearsay stuff and go back and forth. Well news now, dumbwaiter. The first step is admitting it. The next step is doing something about it. How about you just stop slandering people for clickbait, you moron? People, but it's not what I edit and publish. The, anything you see that I publish, man, I got absolute hard, tangible proof. And, and that's the way it is, you know. But, but dude, my, our convicted in California, according to the records, he was convicted in California of felonies before becoming employed by Clark County Sheriff's Department. I, I don't know how that happened. First of all, it didn't happen. One of the first things they would have done besides getting his name, DOB, and social is they would have obtained his fingerprints. That would have been sent to the FBI and the Department of Justice. They would have run his background as per law, both state and federal. If he was a convicted felon, especially from what you are ensuing or inferring or accusing, it would have come back as that. He never would have got a job. He never would have got a badge. He never would have got a sidearm, period. You're wrong. What you probably did was go, I think, all the way out to California to find a man by the same name that had a record. And now you're trying to present that as the Donovan that's going to own you in court. That's just, that's not... That's not journalism, moron. That's slander. And you're turning it into a libel suit. But keep going, you're doing great. Because they can't. Um, felons are not allowed to have guns. So right. how can you be a cop with a gun? And what agency would allow their policies to accept hiring a felon? Like it's, it makes no sense. And then we like to measure what, what potentially may have happened. Like what thing went wrong to allow how how throughout the processes and how throughout the system which thing could have went wrong to for it to happen and well guys that's news now dumb trying to lie to the chief of police 
about one of his employees and then trying to explain to a career law enforcement officer how he's allowed to violate a restraining order because he's too stupid to understand it. And that's also him absolutely slandering the name of another officer for the sake of what clickbait. That's not going to end well for him in the long run, boys and girls. It's just really not. Keep in mind, he can also be hit with sanctions by the judge over the civil case because the man that he's harassing and stalking and doxing all over the Internet is a defendant in a lawsuit that he filed. He can be hit with sanctions for this, especially since he is uh, doing the lawsuit pro se as his own attorney. He can be hit with sanctions just like any attorney would be. I'd be careful here, dumbwaiter. This Wrangler, I'm out of here.